Oh man, look at this washroom. Whoa, it's so moldy. What a shame, eh guys? What's up guys, it's Noah here, and welcome to this explore of this $4 million, very, very modern mansion. This place looks like it's absolutely ready to be lived in, but once you get to the basement, it's covered in black mold. It's the weirdest thing. It almost looks like it flooded. The house was built in the 90s. Um, looks like it was renovated at some point, but it's pretty cool. Let's go check it out. All right, so we're starting in the front foyer here, guys. And just like, look at how big and grand this is. Like, what do you think, Ethan? It's huge. I love it. I absolutely love it. Like, imagine coming home to this every day. Like, and if you look up here, look at your chandeliers. It's not one, but two. So, front foyer here. Wonder if there's anything in the closet. Nope. So when you walk in the front door, you can go left or right. We are going to go left. Power and heat are shut off in this house. Probably why there's a mold starting in here. Wow, look at this room. Holy. The hardwood floor. Look at that fireplace too. It's crazy. It's, what is it made out of? Is it concrete? Seems like it. This house has been empty for a while though. There's tons of dust in here. There's spider webs all built up, like right there. Might be hard to see. But like, just look at this place. It is, it's huge. And this house is in a very well-off neighborhood too, guys. It's slated to be demolished to make another massive mansion. Not that this one isn't, but it's nuts. Like, look at the tile. Then your nice dining room. Like, it's so, so modern. Heading into the kitchen. So, kitchen table could have gone there. But like, look at the granite countertops. Look at how big their kitchen actually is. These are the kind of houses to me that are nuts that they're abandoned like this. It does happen though. It happens a lot. These are garage door clickers. Yeah, for the cars, the garage door clickers. Interesting, interesting. So, I mean, as much of a grand big mansion that this place is, it's pretty much completely empty. There's nothing left inside of it other than cabinets, fixtures, stuff like that. Okay. So, let's go check out the garage, see how many cars it is. It's a big garage. Three car garage. Nothing really left in here. There's some garbage left behind, but that's basically it. 
So if we head out of the garage, straight across from it, got your bathroom right here, washroom. You know, simple, but effective. There's toilet paper. The mirror's interesting. Hmm. This is where your washer and dryer would likely be. It's a laundry room. Not a huge laundry room. Check out this room. That's cool, it's got like pot lights in the uh, ceiling right there. It's so grand, like look at that. If you look out here, you can see the porch. And a nice walkout porch for multiple rooms. I quite like this house. Like even the molding around the uh, windows and like on the ceiling, the trim around it, it's very nice. Look how dusty it is. Wow. It's one last little closet. Nothing really, nothing left in here. So we're gonna head upstairs, check that out. Guys, look at this spiral staircase with the carpet on it. It leads right up to that chandelier. Like how beautiful is that, guys? Let's continue upstairs. Give you a nice view of that chandelier right there. That's so cool how they have double chandeliers though. I'm totally ruining Alan's shot like always. <laughs> so, he's over there. Give you one last look at the stairs. Off to the next room. This almost looks like it'd be a spare bedroom. Oh, it's definitely not. Very empty, for sure. Big closets. Not really tons to these rooms, guys. But it's got its own washroom in here. It's fairly nice. Continuing. Empty closet. Check out this washroom. Wow. It's even got an intercom in the uh, washroom. Huh. Yo, this is a big, bit of jacuzzi. They got a legitimate jacuzzi in here. Like, look at the tile work and everything, even in the washroom here. That's nice. They even have a bidet. They were living life large up in here. So continuing, guys to the final room on this section of the house. 
just a very empty uh, bedroom. The double doors for the closet, cutouts for pipes. It's basically it though. So let's head back the other way. But like, look at the like the the walkway you have past your chandeliers here. All the natural light coming in. That's so nice. So is it glass or is it? It's plastic. So this looks like it would be the master. It's for sure the master. So over in here we got the walk-in closet. Quite a large walk-in closet, that's weird. Why is this like that? Huh. Might be going a little quick in these rooms, guys, but really there's nothing to see in them. But here's the master bath. Whew. Bro, look at that. Wow. That's nuts. It's a big washroom, man. Like, you know you're rich when you can start gold plating stuff. <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah, they got lots of jets in here. I don't feel like two people could fit in here though. <laughs> yeah. Got those funky mirrors, wood cabinets. Even got the glass shower right there. That is pretty cool. I guess over here would have been like a, uh, a makeup area or shape, like whatever you wanted it to be. That's interesting, like the uh, texture in it. It's cool. They even left the racks for their uh, products. All right, leaving the master. It's one more room up here. Another empty walk-in closet right there. And quite a large room. Um, but like most of the other ones, empty as could be. So throughout a majority of this video, you guys have probably been saying, oh, this house isn't abandoned. You guys just broke into some random house. No, no, no. But let me show you why it's abandoned. You can see I got the respirator on. Will you believe that this house has walls full of black mold? Because I didn't until I saw some photos from some other explorers. That's absolutely nuts. So let's go downstairs and check out this mess of mold. Oh, All right, let's head down here. Ah, I see you got your mask on too. Wow. So like at first, doesn't look too bad, right guys? Look at that. Like it's, it's caked everywhere. Like that's really bad. It looks like it flooded at some point. You can even see it on the bottom here. Like look at how bad that is. It doesn't seem like it'd be this bad, but it is, even on the railing. Look at all the white mold. Nuts. So we walk in the first room in the basement, and it was almost like it was a basement apartment. Looks fairly clean. Uh, nothing crazy going on here. But then you turn around. Look at that. Look what happened. Got a second fireplace down here. Oh, it's a nice sunny day out now. Nice. I've never seen fireplaces that are like 
kind of like concrete like this. And I've been in an abandoned house before. Look at the column down here too, like the design on it. That's pretty interesting. Okay, so over here, they had a basement kitchen. So this is why I think it was an apartment down here. It's a big kitchen, man. Nice backsplash, too. It's kind of interesting. Above in the hood. I just noticed in this kitchen, too, guys, you got like a little wine rack right here. I walked around the other side, I didn't see this. Nice. Let's keep going. So peculiar. Oh, it's bad in there. Ooh. Look at how rough it is. It's everywhere. Yeah, it looks like it flooded and stopped. That's like nipple height for me. Looks like storage room area. Wow. It's crazy what some moisture can do in the house. At least everything's shut off. Oh man, look at this washroom. Whoa, it's so moldy. What a shame, eh guys? Like, look at the tub. They have another jacuzzi tub. Jeez. Like... It's one of the nicer washrooms in the home too, and it's just destroyed. Wow. Wonder what happened. I wonder if it flooded. I mean, it makes sense why they're demolishing it now, but. Like guys, it doesn't translate on camera the same way. When you see this in person, it's crazy. I want to open the closet, so we're going to... Yeah, even in there. It's a shame, because like, look at all the tile work and all the, uh, all the stuff that they've left in here, basically. Like, I don't know if they'd actually be able to repurpose any of this. I mean, you could gut the walls, but it's the whole basement now. Here's the furnace room. Wow. And there's just an exit to uh, outside. And now we're wrapped right back around to the uh, staircase. All right, guys, that's it. That's the entire home. I hope you enjoyed. Um, pretty empty other than, uh, you know, appliances and stuff left behind, but it's pretty cool. I was not expecting that very, very moldy basement. Didn't think it was gonna be that bad. But if you guys enjoyed, make sure to hit that like button. Make sure to subscribe. We've got new stuff coming. And I will see you guys in the next one.